Hello everyone. I hope that all is well. Uh, I just want us to go through account equation where a periodic system is used. Okay, so I want us to analyze this so that we can be able to deal with the future questions. Okay, firstly here, we are going to use periodic system of inventory. And then uh, this is the transition number one. They say the owner contributed 50,000 into his business bank account. The first thing on this transaction for us to do is to identify the two accounts involved. Okay. So by identifying the two accounts involved, it means we need to go and check the most important information. So the owner contributed. Okay. So remember, anything that has been contributed by the owner is called capital. So because the owner contributed something, the first account will be what? Capital. So for now, let me just put the rules aside so that, uh, so that uh, on the other side, so that we can be able to uh, refer thereafter. Okay. So the owner contributed, meaning my first account is capital. Can you see I put capital here? So he contributed 50,000. So 50,000 meaning is cash. So this 50,000 will it came in the form of cash so meaning the other account will be banked because we will put this amount of money into the business bank account as you can even see here this bank account okay so remember even if the contribution was equipment we were still supposed to have capital because the owner brought something but instead of saying bank we would say equipment so you must just check what did the owner contribute but as long as he contributed something, as long as the owner brought something to the business is capital, but that capital is either bank, equipment, uh, land and building, whatever he contributed. Okay. Secondly, we need to go and classify this according to the groups which we learned. Okay. What is capital to us? Capital to us is an owner's equity. Can you see? I just wrote OE. So I'm just analyzing so that by the time when I record, everything becomes easier. What about bank? Bank is an asset, if you remember very well. So you must go and learn those accounts so that you can know which account is which. After analyzing like this, we need to check the movement. If the owner brought capital to the business, it means the capital of the business will go up. So it means I'm going to put an arrow that goes up. But what about the bank account of the business? Here, I'm not talking about the bank account of the owner. I'm talking about the bank account of the business. So the bank account of the business will also go up because money, we received money. The owner brought money to the business. So after putting these arrows, is then that we can go and consult our rules. Remember, we said for our, our lesson, we're going to use this technique. Okay, I'm going to check where I see capital and check the arrow. Okay, I can find the capital in this box and the arrow that goes up, as you can see here, the arrow goes up. The arrow that goes up is on the credit side, meaning the capital will be credited. Okay. So obviously, the minute I know the side of one account, the other account must be obvious because it must be the opposite. But before we can put that opposite side, let's just try to check it the way we checked capital. Bank is an asset. I go to uh, the, the, uh, the, the box where I found assets and I check the row that goes up. So assets go up on the debit side. That's why I've got a, a debit side for the bank account. Can you see? This is very, 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 very easy, especially if you analyze first by checking the rules. Is then that I will go and check what? Uh, the entries now. So now, if you can check here, I've got capital, which is owner's equity, meaning I'm going to affect owner's equity here. I've got bank, which is an asset, it means I'm going to affect assets here. I don't have what? Liabilities. So I expect to put zero under what? Liabilities. So, firstly, I must say this is transition number one, so I put one here. Now, I normally prefer to start with the assets, okay? Let's go and check the assets. So the assets are increasing. It means under the assets, I'm going to have plus 50,000 because of the assets are increasing. Okay. Now I must go and check the owner's equity. We said the owner's equity is also increasing. I must also go to the owner's equity and say plus 50,000. And I said 
liabilities we don't have them if we had liabilities here i should have put l somewhere but because we don't have any liabilities here that's why we put what zero okay now let's try the next one here i just want to show you with the same transaction what if they asked you for the general ledger remember a general ledger is a t account let me go back again if you can check here the two accounts were capital and bank so if they are asking you for the general ledger, it means we must open an account called capital. We must open an account called bank. Let me go back. So here, an account is called a debit. As you can see, this is the debit and a credit. This is what? A credit, okay? So the first account that I'm gonna open is gonna be what? Capital. So if you can check from the previous analysis, capital has been credited, meaning I must come and record on the credit side of what? Of capital i'm gonna come and record here on the credit side so i must come and say okay on the credit side i'm gonna write bank so under description i write bank remember the bank is the account that was identified with capital so we call this a contra account so meaning by the time when i open bank account under bank account the contra account will be capital and the amount is how much is fifty thousand. okay after doing this i must also open what bank account but remember, the bank has been debited, even if you can go and refer to the previous slide. So meaning on the credit side, I'm going to record what? Capital and put how much? 50,000. Remember, this is the contra account for bank. Can you see how do we find the contra account? Under capital, we write bank. And under bank, we write what? Capital. But under bank, we record on the debit side and under capital on the credit side. This is when they ask you for the general ledger account. Okay. Let's try the next one. The next one says, we bought goods for cash. Can you see now? Already I see two accounts involved. Okay. Already I see the two accounts involved. So those accounts are as follows. Now, because we are using periodic, under periodic, we call goods purchases. So we don't call it trading invention. So I bought goods, meaning I made purchases. So again, I must bring the rules down. Okay, so after bringing those rules down, I must make sure that I analyze, okay? So I have purchases. Why do I say purchases? It's because I bought goods and I'm under periodic. So if it was under perpetual, I will say trading inventory. But because I'm dealing with the periodic, so goods will give me purchases as one account. But how did I make those purchases? In the form of cash. So the other account is what? Is bank. Can you see now? And thereafter, I need to classify the accounts. What are the purchases? Purchases are expenses. But are, uh, what is a bank? Bank is an asset. Can you see now? Now I must check the movement. Because we bought goods, remember goods here, we call them purchases. So when we bought goods, it means we have got more goods. So it means our purchases went up. So I'm going to say arrow next to the expenses. But what about the bank? Remember, we took money from the bank to buy those goods. So meaning the bank must decrease because we took money from the, from the bank. Okay, is then that we can go and consult our rules. Now, let's go back to the purchases. Purchases, we said expenses are increasing. Let's go and check expenses. Here are the expenses. Where do expenses increase? The arrow that goes up is on the debit side. So I'm going to say debit in, uh, next to the purchases. Obviously, I know the bank already because I'm going to put the opposite side here, which is credit. But let's just use the box again. Bank is an asset and asset is going down. Let's go and find assets and go down. We assets and we go down and we side on the credit side so now we have got credit next to the bank now we can go and record yes number two but let's check purchases are expenses but if i check here i only have assets owners equities and liabilities but remember i told you expenses and incomes will affect what owners equity so i know that because i've got an expense I'm going to affect owner's equity. Remember, expenses affect owner's equity negatively, but incomes affect owner's equity positively. Okay. And then I've got expenses which are going to affect owner's equity. I've got assets which are going to affect what? Assets. 
meaning still I don't have what? Liabilities. I'm going to put zero under liabilities. I hope everyone is following. Now, we need to go and record. Like I said, I prefer you to start with the assets because the asset will give you the answer for the other columns. So according to the assets here, they are going down. So it means I'm going to decrease the assets when I come here. I can either put a minus or brackets. It's up to you. So I'm going to have minus 10,000. Can you see? Because I took money from the business to pay for the goods. So if I don't want to uh, stress myself, let's say I'm writing an exam, I know wherever I'm going to record, the sign is going to be the same. Because I said before, as long as you affect assets in one of the two, meaning owners, equity, or liabilities, the signs will always be the same. So already I know that wherever I'm going to record, it's going to be minus 10,000. But again, we can check so that we can understand. So expenses here affect owners' equity negatively, like I said. So when the expenses increase, the owners' equity will decrease. Can you see now? But as I said, you can also say, as long as I put minus 10,000 here, even on the owners' equity, I must put minus 10,000. Even if I was supposed to go to liabilities, it was supposed to be minus 10,000. You cannot have minus 10,000 and plus 10,000. You cannot have plus 10,000 and minus 10,000 here. No, the signs must always be the same as long as you affect assets and owner's equity or assets and liabilities. So my liability will remain what? Zero. Okay, so we need to know how to deal with this kind of information. Transaction number three, uh, again, let me bring my rules down so that we can understand better. We, they say cash sales. Already I see cash. Already I see my account here. I see bank because there's cash. And already I see my sales because I made sales of merchandise. Remember, we only have sales if we sell goods, merchandise, trading stock. If you sell equipment, you cannot say sales. You will say equipment. Okay. So don't worry about the merchandise here because we are not using perpetual. So we can only use uh, can go, can only use this one uh, if we use using perpetual. But because we are dealing with the periodic, we only deal with the sales part only. So as I said already, I've got two accounts. The first account will be bank because of the cash, and the second one is going to be sales. As you can see here, I've got sales. Okay. What is bank to us? Bank is an asset. What about the sales? Sales are incomes. You must make sure that you know how to classify this account. Can you see if you don't know how to classify the accounts, you will end up having wrong figures. You will end up saying sales maybe are expenses or sales are assets. So you must go and master those groups. Okay? So bank. So what happens to the assets? So bank, you are receiving cash. So obviously you sold, you received cash. So your bank will increase because you are getting money. What about the sales? The sales will also increase because you've sold more. The more you sell is the more you increase your sales. You see now? It's then that we can go and consult the rules. Assets are increasing. Let's go and check the assets here under the box. And they're increasing on the debit side. So that's why I'm going to put what? Debit side. And I know that if I put debit side here, sales must be obvious. I'm going to put credit. But we can still use the box. Sales are incomes and incomes are increasing. Let's go and check the incomes. Here are the incomes here on this box, and the incomes are increasing. So the arrow that goes up is this one. They increase on the credit side. Can you see now? Very, very, very easy. And now we can go and record. This is number three, transition number three, but we need to check. I've got bank, which is an asset. I'm going to affect assets. I've got sales, which is an income. Remember I said incomes affect owner equity. Incomes and expenses affect owner equity. Still, I don't have what? Liabilities. It means I'm going to put zero under what? My liabilities. Okay. Now I can go and record. Remember, my advice is for you to start with the assets because assets will give you the answer for the other columns. Yes, you can start with any other column. It doesn't matter. So according to my analysis, we've got assets here and they are going up. Obviously, I'm going to put plus under assets because the assets are going up. Okay. So I'm also going to affect owner's equity because I've got an income. Already I know the answer because I put plus here. It means I'm going to put plus there. But again, it makes sense. Incomes are increasing. It means also the owner's equity will increase. And I'll put zero under liabilities. Okay. Very, very easy. Now, we can also, I can also show you how to transfer this to the general ledger account. 
if they ask you for the general ledger account, you must go and open the bank account and the sales account. Okay, I'm going to show you on the next slide. So again, remember the account is called a debit and a credit. Okay, so the first account that I wanted to I opened is sales. So according to the previous analysis, sales have been credited. So I'm on the credit side. I'm going to write bank. Remember, bank is the contract for sales. How much is it? Five thousand. And I must also open what bank account, but bank account will be on the debit side. The contract will be sales, and I put the amount. But practice makes perfect. So make sure that you practice this, and it will make sense at the end of the day. Remember, the only way to uh, understand accounting is to do accounting. Okay. So don't say I don't understand, and you end up uh, throwing a towel and say no, I can't do this anymore. Just try to push yourself a little bit. It's not that difficult. No one is perfect. We all we, we all start from the from being the beginners before we can come and perfect ourselves. So this is the end of our study unit, guys. Thank you very much. And I'll see you when we will be dealing with our next video. Thank you very much, guys. And we will engage very, very, very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a good Good, good day. Thank you.